welcome everyone. Thank you for coming out. Uh, Grand Rapids Public is uh, very excited to announce some new initiatives this fall in the Nutrition Services Program. And uh, the most important one being that Grand Rapids Public will be initiating a community eligibility program uh, in our meal uh, uh, department. And what that means is, is that every child in the Grand Rapids Public Schools will be able to eat free of charge. Additionally, what this really means at, at the point of service out in those cafeteria lines is we no longer will need to stop the little, the little fifth grade or the little uh, kindergartner or the high school student and ask them their name, what homeroom they're with, what's their student identification, what's their income eligibility. All those things are a thing of the past now and we'll be able to expedite the serving lines, move things along faster, cut down the bureaucracy of the program and most importantly, be able to really market the meals, those nutritious foods that we're trying to uh, have the children participate in and eat and get them ready for the classroom learning. So this is a four-year pilot program with USDA. Uh, this is the second year for Michigan, and this is our first year here in Grand Rapids. Uh, we were just winding down a two-year pilot program with the summer EBT program, uh, which was a very successful program this summer. So now we're able to launch into this new, exciting uh, era in school meals. Additionally, the uh, Department of Nutrition Services will be expanding its footprint here in the Grand Rapids community. Uh, we are taking on five additional schools uh, that are not related to GRPS. We have been uh, really pushing the envelope, as it were, in terms of joint services and providing shared services and really trying to improve the economies of scale uh, to support classroom learning. And so we have had um, partnerships with East Grand Rapids, Grand Rapids Christian, uh, Immaculate Heart of Mary, St. Stephen's, a variety of schools the last three years. And this year, we're proud to announce that we'll be uh, servicing Aviation Academy, the Ellington Academy, Hope Academy, and North Point Elementary, North Point Christian Elementary. So that's just a, to me, it's a, a testament of the fine work that our staff, the nutrition services has been doing for many years and speaks highly of the, the menus and the nutrition services that we provide here in Grand Rapids. Lastly, what I'd like to announce is USDA's new regulatory guidelines in terms of uh, what is gonna be on the plate. So over the last few years, the emphasis has been on improving the nutritional quality of school meals. Grand Rapids Public has led the way in terms of uh, uh, ensuring that we have ready access to fresh fruits and vegetables, beans, legumes, those kind of things, and also incorporating that with uh, uh, physical activity and nutrition education. So USDA has announced rules that all school districts across the country will have to adhere to. The key thing for folks to remember, parents and children alike, is what will change in the cafeteria is when they leave the lunch line, they will have to have a serving of fruit or vegetable on their tray. So we've always, schools have always provided fruits and vegetables. That's always been a part of the school meal program. Prior to this year, it's always been an option for children to choose fruits and vegetables. This year moving forward, that option is removed and fruits and vegetables will be part of that tray. So we like to say in Grand Rapids that we want students to fill their tray the healthy way. And that's gonna be something that our children are accustomed to doing here in Grand Rapids. And we have been for several years now promoting fresh fruits and vegetables. So it's not gonna be a real big change for Grand Rapids, but it is an, another uh, example of the initiative that we have been promoting and pursuing here in Grand Rapids for several years, now being turned into actual federal regulation. Any questions? Baumgartner, B-A-U-M-G-A-R-T-N-E-R. Uh-huh. 
Right, five, five additional schools this, this coming fall. We, it'll bring a total of 12 school schools or school districts that we're providing meal service for outside of GRPS. Yes, there is an administrative fee uh, that those schools pay into the GRPS program to help support all the administrative costs that are involved in servicing them. One of the reasons, though, that uh, dis despite that cost, um, the, s the schools, the seven schools that are returning have found that they're offsetting many costs that they had, um, had to, had to uh, incur on their own. So it's a far more efficient manner for them to uh, provide a national school lunch program by allowing us to be their umbrella sponsor. West Michigan farmers, absolutely. And I'll explain how we do that. Um, the typical uh, um, oh, uh, scenario people, I think, have in their mind is that uh, schools will have a, a West Michigan farmer coming directly into their back door and providing produce right off of the field. And that is an exception rather than the norm. What typically happens is that West Michigan farmers will be selling their product to a variety of vendors, so warehouse distributors and uh, um, stores and those kind of things. School districts will release bids uh, through their various distributors, and then it's up to those distributors to seek out the lowest price, the highest quality product. So when uh, uh, Michigan produce is in season, oftentimes those distributors will tap into those local West Michigan farmers. So for example, when we serve fresh asparagus in uh, the spring, that asparagus is coming directly off of West Michigan farms because that's the freshest and the, and the, uh, the least expensive due to its proximity. So in the winter months, we're gonna have to find other so sources. Uh, an example of where we have year-round su support of West Michigan farmers is the apple. The apple crop, of course, is shelf stable and we're able to, to uh, tap into um, a cooperative right here in, nor in North Kent County that provides fresh Michigan apples all throughout the year. But the, throughout the supply chain, there's gonna be various points in time where that product may very well be coming from a Michigan farm versus out state. Another example that we have where we've got a, a real stable supply chain directly with the farmer is through Country Dairy. Country Dairy is a farm up in Shelby, Michigan, and they're a farm that also bottles their own milk. So what we're able to do is tap into our relationship with their distributor here in West Michigan and then receive milk directly off of that farm uh, right into our schools. And one of those, uh, um, one of the neat things about that relationship is that we've taken it a step further and we provide tours so the children can get back out to the farm and see that cow eating the silage, see that cow get milked, see that milk get turned and homogenized and turned into that bottled milk that they love at the school. Any other questions? All right, thank you very much. You're welcome.